Hey guys, you're listening to the True Voyage Soundcast, and I'm Natasha Che. Today, I want to talk about intuition and how to tell if you're having a real intuition or just random thoughts. But before we start, I want to mention that this is a regularly updated soundcast, and my goal with this soundcast is to help you. Be the person that you truly came to this earth to be, and if you're listening to this soundcast elsewhere other than on Soundwise, there should be a button or a link that you should you can click on that takes you to the subscription page, and I encourage you to subscribe so you can get new updates from the soundcast and also ask me questions on the Soundwise app. All right. So today I want to talk about how to know if you're having a real intuition. And a lot of people ask me about this, and also ask me about you know related questions. People sometimes tell me, "Okay, I really want to trust a divine order. I want to trust that I have a higher destiny." But when things are not working out, I always freak out. I I don't. I want to trust more than that, but I don't know how to do that. Or people will ask. People will ask me. Okay, I'm fa- I'm I'm faced with this situation, and I have these、uh, these few choices. I just don't know what to do. Or people will ask me. Oh, I I just feel like I'm feeling so stuck. I feel like I'm hitting a wall in my life, and I have no clarity. Now all these questions are related, and it if you have if if you can tell, or are better at telling what is your real intuition and what is other random thoughts, you will have a much easier time with all these situations that I just mentioned. So, but this is actually not quite easy for many of us because. I don't think most of us are clear about what real intuition is. You know, sometimes I hear people say, "Oh, I'm sh- I'm pretty convinced about this. This is my gut feeling, and you know, I'm determined to go this way because this is my intuition." But honestly, you know, from the sideline, you can tell that they are. This is not a intuitive message. This is really just a fantasy. You know, it's a conjecture, a make believe of the mind. So that's the thing. You know, I want to first talk about what intuition is not. First, it's not. Positive thinking. It's not positive affirmation. You know, we humans, we are so good at deceiving ourselves in order to avoid facing situations that we don't want to face. Basically, to avoid things that are unpleasant, we tell all sorts of stories to ourselves, and we have a very rich imagination. And imagination is not intuition. You know. Sometimes, when people don't want to face a problem, they will try to talk themselves out of it, and you know that's really when some sometimes when people ask you to think things in a positive way, it's it's that is not intuition. That's not the message from your soul, and also intuition again related. It's not wishful thinking. It's not what you wish to be true. And also, it's not a whim. Sometimes people get really excited about a idea or a direction that they want to take for like five minutes. Okay, sometimes it's three months, but you know that is like they feel so passionate about it for a short period of time, and it just dies after. And that is usually not intuition, though. Because you feel so strongly about it, it feels like it feels like a divine message. But I will I will tell you in a second what's the difference, okay? And also, what intuition is not? It's not your programmed self talk, and this is a big one, <laughs> because most of us we all have a lot of those. Have you noticed that you know? You always kind of tell yourself the same things over and over, 
when things are not working out for you, when things are falling apart, when you're feeling confused, we always have our favorite personal storyline that we tell ourselves. It's basically it's just a you know automated mind circuit that it runs itself. Whenever something triggers it, it just kicks into gears and it, it just repeats itself. You know, for for me, you know, it's that self talk. A lot of times, it's、um, I. This is not gonna happen. I can't. I don't. I'm not powerful enough to make this happen. Or think I'm just so slow. I'm not doing this fast enough. That's like for me. That's that's the go to self talk. When things are not working, my mind would would typically typically just go that route. And those are definitely not intuition. Though, what because you're so used to it, you're so used to those talks, and they feel like truth to you because you've repeated them to yourself so many times. So, but the trick here is, you know, you need to know when you have when you are having those, you know, programmed talks, programmed stories. You need to be start to be aware enough to catch it, to know that that is your programmed talk, and that is actually my first tip for you in terms of differentiating real intuition from all these other things. I just listed all these other things. They're not intuition, right? It's not wishful thinking. It's not positive affirmation. It's not. A whimsical thought that you suddenly feel so passionate about, and it's not your programmed self-talk that you that you tend to give yourself over and over again. So, if you wonder if something is a intuition, you know, check if the, it falls into all the, these categories first. Right, that's that's one way to do it. Right. So if it's something that you repeatedly, especially if it's something that you repeatedly tell yourself over and over again, that is definitely not a divine message. All right. So what is actually intuition? And I would define it as a message from your higher self to align you with your highest destiny. So that this is important because that will help you tell whether this is what whether something that you're getting is real intuition or not. Because this is very important because it's a message from your higher self and it carries a certain quality when it comes because your higher self operates on a very different program than your human human self. It's it's a totally different game. It, it's on a different dimension, and it doesn't fit into the rules and stories of the human world. So that brings me to how can you tell if it's real intuition, if it's real message from your higher self? A few things. Are you ready? All right. So first of all, when this message comes, it should always feel very calm. Why? Because again, your higher self operates on a different dimension. Your higher self is eternal. It's forever creative. It never dies. So your human problems. Are not a problem to your higher self. Your your human drama, your em- daily emotions. Something makes you sad or happy. It doesn't matter to your higher self. It's like all these. Your higher self is the ocean. It is the ocean that is forever. It's deep and calm, and your little waves of emotions means nothing. Your fears and concerns, and you know, the the desires of your ego means nothing to your higher self. So whatever message it gives you, 
It's always calm because there is no other way to your higher self. There is no point of freaking out or getting overly excited about anything. It's to your higher self. Everything is just a matter of fact. So when you get a message, it should have this dispassionate, calm, and neutral feeling to it. And so. And here is a distinction that I need to, you know, bring to your attention. Okay, when I say it's always calm, what I mean is the moment you get the message, it usually it's you know no more than five seconds. Why? Because after that five seconds, your human self, your human emotions, and programmed responses start to kick in. And whatever message you you get, it start triggering your human emotions. That second layer response is different from the feeling that you are feeling when you are just getting the message. So when I say it's always calm, I'm not saying your human emotion that comes afterwards is always calm. Sometimes it make you just your human self freak out, right? Like for example, um, if you get an information about a dear one. About a very,、uh, about the person who who you love very much, is going to die. And I can tell you many cases that you know, people will get that kind of information. But it's it's going to freak your human self out. But it's not, but it's a calm thing for your higher self. So when you first get a message, get an intuition like that, it always feels very calm. The human reaction that comes after that—that's that's another story, all right. So,、um, and also another example. Take the example that I talked about last week in in last week's episode about how to get clarity about like your 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 life directions, right? So,、uh, someone asked me, like they're feeling stuck about their life. They don't know.、Uh, They told me they they had a vision. They thought they had an intuition about where their life is going, about taking this action, about going towards a certain direction. But things are not working out, so they they start questioning. Okay, am I going the right way? Maybe this is just wrong. Maybe I was just fantasizing. That wasn't a real intuition. So how do you tell whether you're going the right direction or not? And if you haven't listened to that episode, I. I encourage you to go listen to it because in in that episode I talk about the time when you feel so disappointed and discouraged about your life direction and you start question it, you start questioning it is not the time to change direction. Is not the time to question your mission or the validity. Of your initial intuition, because your doubts are not coming from a calm space. It's not divinely guided. It's your human self being triggered by the, your frustrations, and it's your human self having these thoughts of doubts about your intuition, about your life directions. So, how do you know when you really need to change direction? But sometimes, you know, you really, you know, things are not. Going well, and you are not on the right track. You and you do need to change directions. But when you get these those messages, it's always calm. It's not like frustrating. It's not doubt. It's not doubtful. So when you are doubting your initial direction, that is not the divine guidance. The divine guidance that comes when it asks you to change direction, it always talks to you in a calm and neutral way. Okay, so. And the second, and the second point I want to make is, when that intuition comes, it's always firm. And this is something that is kind of hard to put into words. And you've got to, everyone, we receive these messages differently, and you've got to figure out, you've got to, you know, have these experiences for enough times. 
to discern what is your way, what is your body's way to feel, to get this message in and its firmness. For me, it always when I have a, you know, real intuitive message that I'm getting from a higher self, I always feel this, just this groundedness in my gut, in my stomach, this very grounded, very calm feeling. And it doesn't go away. It's like, this is what you've got to do. And there's no other way. It has this confidence. This message has this confidence that it's telling you, don't doubt me. Right? It doesn't mean that you will not have doubts. Again, we have gazillion different thoughts every day. Most of them are not useful, but you know, we listen to them anyway. So you will have doubts. But the thing is, when you first are getting this message, again, focus on the moment that how you feel when you're just getting that message. It should have a certain firm quality to it. And it should feel firm to your body. And how your body receives that, it's it depends on individuals. So so you've got to ha- you know, you've got to receive these messages and for enough times and observe how you feel about it to know what is your you signature way of receiving these messages. And the third point is the third quality of the real intuition is it's always compassionate. You know, when you are getting sometimes when I'm getting, you know, a real intuition, a real message from my higher self, I almost feel like I'm being cradled like a baby. You know, in loving arms. And even if it's not good news by the human standard, even if it's bad news or something is going around by your human world's standard, again, keep in mind that your higher self operates on a different standard. It doesn't care. It doesn't care about the rules of the human world, but it is the source of love, the source of compassion. So it should feel a certain it should have a certain compassionate feeling to it. Though this is not like, um, how do I describe it? There is a compassion, but there is also a detached feeling to it. It's detached compassion. All right. So if you see a, like, if you see a Buddha statue, you, you all, you look at the face of the statue, it's like, it's looking down, it's very calm, it's, but, it, it, it just you just feel like there is a love overflowing to humanity from that statue's face, but at the but at the same time it's detached. It's not like a passionate love affair, that kind of love. It's compassionate, calm love. And when you get when you get a real intuition, it should have a similar quality to it. And another thing is The real intuition that you're getting should feel empowering. No matter what the nature, the the context of the message is, when you're getting it, it should have the feeling that you should feel like, I'm able to deal with this, come what may. Again, five seconds later, you may start thinking, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I don't know how to deal with this. But at the moment, when you are getting the message, you are feeling the truth that comes with it. And the truth is, you have all the power in you to actually deal with the situation, to actually make things happen. And there should be this feeling of empowerment that comes with it. Because Again, why why these are the signs? Because keep in mind the nature of your higher self is power. It's a source of power and love and creativity. So when when you are getting a message from your higher self, it's not just the message yourself itself. It's not just the 
you know, the content of the message. It also comes with all these other qualities that I just mentioned. So when that's that's how you tell if it's real in if it's real intuition that you are getting. It's calm. It's compassionate. It's firm, and it's empowering. Regardless of the nature of the, you know, regardless of the content of the message, whether it's you know some loved one is going to die, or someone's getting a divorce, or you're going to win the lottery, it doesn't matter. It always has these qualities. So, again, still, it takes this takes practice, right? It takes a level of self awareness for you to discern if this is a real intuition that comes from your higher self. And the more you are self aware about this, the easier it will get for you to differentiate. What is real information, and it's easier for you to actually trust your intuition, and trust that you are actually being guided towards your highest destiny. Okay, that's all for this episode. If you like this episode, I encourage you to check out my audio course, "How to Get Anything You Want." A course on inner mastery, where I talk a lot more about how to get clarity in any life situations and how to manifest abundance and success in the outside world from a place of inner clarity and empowerment. All right, that's all for today. I will talk to you next time.